Hi Wolford Gang, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and automatically you will become part of the Wolford Gang. Guys, as you can see by the title, your girl is finally monetized on YouTube. And having said that, I just want to take this time to say thank you, thank you all for your support, for your love for this channel, for liking our, our videos, for commenting on our videos, for sharing our videos as well. I really, really honestly appreciate you guys. And without you, we wouldn't have got to a stage where our channel is actually monetized. So you guys are the real deal dot com. Thank you guys. I, I love you guys. I, I don't even know how to express how much I am grateful for your support. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Today, I am going to be sharing a bit about my YouTube journey so far and how I've actually got to a stage um, where I've become a YouTube partner. Guys, I can officially call myself a YouTuber now because I'm monetized. <laughs> I can't believe it. I still can't believe it that this channel is actually monetized. But anyway, let me not go on a tangent. So I started my YouTube channel in September 2020. It was during the pandemic and I didn't have much else to do except from, you know, working from home, going out for walks. I think then you were only allowed to have two walks a day or something ridiculous like that. Um, so yeah, I had quite a lot of time on my hands. And so I decided I'm going to create this big diary about my family where I take videos and upload them on YouTube. At that time, I didn't really know much about YouTube. Um, I think I was just, you know, sort of enjoying um, taking videos and just uploading them on YouTube. As time went by, one of my friends actually, if she's watching this video, who has been uh, one of my biggest motivators when I first started a YouTube channel, Gloria, she really pushed me. She was like, Faith, your content is great. I'm enjoying your videos. And do you know that you, you can actually get monetized on YouTube eventually and start getting paid by YouTube? Um, so I started looking into that and uh, I realized I needed 4,000 watch time hours. I needed 1,000 subscribers to get monetized on YouTube. However, that wasn't really my biggest drive. My biggest drive was to create this family diary. And I think that helped me in a way, but also that wasn't so helpful in other ways, which I will explain um, and share with you guys shortly. And so I kept driving, kept driving, creating content, uploading my videos. A lot of people were giving me feedback. A lot of people were enjoying our content and our family vlogs. Um, I would say I actually started getting really serious about being monetized on YouTube around last year, September time. That's when I started really taking my YouTube seriously. Uh, because I wanted to get monetized because it's nice to get a bit of money on YouTube um, and how I started being serious was by being consistent um, so previously uh, before last year September I wasn't really uploading um, a lot of content I wasn't really consistent I used to go like a month really quiet on my channel uh, not uploading anything which does not help at all all. I have come to realize that you have to be really consistent on YouTube. So when I first started taking my YouTube seriously, that's when I started seeing growth. I started seeing subscribers coming in. I started seeing more people interacting with me. And guys, when you have a YouTube channel and you have those die hard subscribers, which I do, they are so invested in your world, in your life, and what you're doing. And so if you go quiet, they'll go and look for another YouTube channel <laughs> that they can watch. So you have to be really, really consistent. Consistency 
is key. And when I started doing that, I started seeing a change. And when I say I was consistent in September, I was probably uploading one or two videos a week, uh, which was helping, but I needed to give my channel much more of a push um, in terms of trying to grow my channel. So around um, December time, I'll say actually around November, December time, I started, you know, taking it very seriously. I started studying about YouTube. I started studying on how I can grow my YouTube channel, how I can get more subscribers, how I can actually treat my YouTube channel as a business. So before I wasn't treating my YouTube channel as a business, I was just treating it as, you know, is it's a channel and guys when i say is a business it is a business because you create content you edit the videos you upload it it's nice to get paid for it but it has to be something that you also enjoy and going back to that point where i said i was just seeing it as a big family diary which i still do but now i do look at my um at my youtube channel as as a business because it's nice to get some coin but also i can look at it as a business and i can also look at it as a big family diary which is amazing and so november december time i started being really really consistent last year december time i uploaded about 14 videos which is a lot I also had COVID. I don't know how I managed to continue pushing. So during the weekends, I would always, you know, make sure that I'm vlogging, that I'm editing videos, that I'm uploading. So consistency is very, very important. And I started seeing loads of watch time coming in, loads of subscribers coming in, loads of views on my videos. So it was really nice and it kept me going. So since December, I've been so consistent on my channel and now we're in March and it's really, really paid off guys. Four months later, I am monetized on YouTube. So if you're a small YouTuber or if you have a small channel and you want to grow, I would say what really worked for me was consistency and also sharing your videos. I was becoming one of those annoying people. I would literally go in people's DMs on my Instagram and I'd be like, hey, did you know that we have a YouTube channel? Here's the link. Please support us if you like my content. What I didn't want is people just coming to subscribe on my channel uh, for the sake of subscribing and not really watching my content. Um, and so you have to share your videos, share them on Instagram, share them on Facebook, share them on your WhatsApp status, share them on your TikTok, share them on um, your Snapchat, share, share, share your videos. Let the whole world know that you have a YouTube channel if you want to grow. Another thing that really, really helped me with my YouTube channel is looking at this channel. Um, it's called The Kirchways. Um, the lady's called Neo. She's uh, from Botswana and she's very, very transparent about YouTube, how to run YouTube as a business, how to grow on YouTube. That channel really, really helped me and I'll put it in the description uh, box below so that you guys can check it out if you are looking to grow on YouTube. Another thing is looking at your analytics. When I first started my YouTube channel because I wasn't really thinking about growing, I never used to look at my analytics. That's something I didn't even, I don't think I even knew analytics existed until when I started taking it really seriously and I started studying my analytics and I was like, wow, okay, this is not good, this is good. This is what my audience is enjoying watching. And so I need to release content that's more like what everybody else is enjoying on my channel. For example, I realized that most of my subscribers on here are actually Zimbabweans living in the UK and America. And so I had to create content that was relatable to them. Um, so study, study your analytics. That's very, very important. And above all, stay authentic, stay true to yourself. Don't burn yourself out. 
do what you can but still being consistent and consistency could be uploading two videos a week it doesn't have to be 14 videos in one month I mean I I think I went a bit overboard but it did pay off and that's not something I do now I don't upload 14 videos in one month uh, but it paid off at the time because I needed watch time I needed more subscribers and I'm at a point where I'm now officially monetized so yeah Stay authentic, stay true to yourself, don't, you know, go on camera and record videos and um, be fake with the world, still be authentic, still be you, still create content that um, your audience is enjoying i hope i haven't gone round on a tangent i have a lot more stuff that i can share with you guys and tips that i can share so if you want to see more content like this please drop me a comment and let me know what you'd like to see next about growing your youtube channel um i'm also going to be releasing a video soon on how i got monetized within 24 hours Guys, I literally applied for monetization um, and then 24 hours later, I received an email to say it had been approved. That's crazy. It doesn't really happen. It takes months. It takes weeks for some people, but it was really, really fast for me. So I'm going to share that information as to how it happened. Thank you so much if you've made it up until this point. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Take care, Wolford Gang. Bye.